How much is rent here? Uh, free. Two years, two years. After two years, we have to pay the rent. All right, y'all, this is Savannah Hernandez in Brunswick, Maine, reporting to you from the apartments where migrants are getting their rent paid for up to two years. Now, I wanted to give you guys a first inside look at these units. The migrants shared with us that they come furnished, so they have a flat screen TV in there, couches, tables and chairs, a bed. We also asked them as well, hey, are you paying utilities here? Um, they shared with us that nope, they do not have a water bill, they do not have an electricity bill. And what about the light and the water? Everything is so good. We don't pay anything. Now, I wanted to focus in on this area of Maine uh, because there is a housing crisis going on currently for residents. And these buildings were initially created for Maine residents, but then it was decided that homeless migrants would be living here. Now, as an American, you can rent out one of these units, but a one bedroom is going to run you about $1,800 and a two bedroom is going to run you about $2,300. Uh, by the way, the average housing price for a house over here in Brunswick is about $480,000. So there was obviously a lot of outrage um, when it was first discovered that migrants were going to be housed here for free on taxpayer dollar. Now I wanted to focus in on Brunswick as well because this is the same county that has received FEMA funding from that same program that spent almost a billion dollars through the fiscal year of 2023 and 2024 on sheltering illegal immigrants throughout the United States of America. By the way, FEMA coming out and saying that they have run out of that funding. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. This is why I wanted to come up this way. This is why I wanted to come to Brunswick because I wanted to show you guys a comparison of how the federal government is treating American citizens versus illegal immigrants and migrants in this country. This is how migrants up in Maine, up in Brunswick are living. We also went to Bangor, we went to Lewiston and there are African migrants who share with us that they really like it over here, that they've been treated very well. We spoke to Catholic charities who told us that they are expecting more migrants. They're actually bringing more migrants up this way. Yeah, so we're expecting um, up to 150 refugees um, starting uh, yesterday until um, September 30th, which is the fiscal year. And then we also have walk-in clients, um, which will increase those numbers. Um, generally for refugees that we know are coming, we help them get set up with an apartment, um, uh, and but we're always looking for like other landlords to work with as well for apartments. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of what was going on in Maine, the uppermost corners of the United States of America, where you wouldn't expect there to be migrants. Um, this is a direct result of the open border, the illegal immigration crisis that has been allowed to prosper over the past three, four years. And it's stretching to even areas of America that you wouldn't expect.